first robotic uh, bronchoscopy, um, the significance is that it's just a new breakthrough for our, our patients. Uh, we typically have been using a, a manual uh, bronchoscope that was you know, invented in 1965 and has really had few changes since then. With this robot, uh, robotic bronchoscopy, we're able to really precisely target some very small areas and then stably keep them there so that we can uh, biopsy and hopefully eventually treat the really small early lung cancers. The lungs themselves are like a maze essentially of you know one-way dead-end roads with a bunch of forks that all go to a everything goes to a dead end so to get to a, a very small you know four five to seven millimeter uh, area of lung you have to take the right road each time and each, each fork in the road, you have to make sure you make that right turn, otherwise you'll end up at a dead end, not at that location. We use the cone beam CT, which basically takes a, a quick C3D image of the, of the body in real time, of the lungs, and then we have software that maps, that allows us to map out a pathway to that area, and the robot itself has incorporated software that takes that CT and then displays that roadmap to us and allows us to, to follow that roadmap like a GPS to the small little nodule. All of this is moving us to a place where we can identify earlier, smaller samples and treat earlier with less damage to the other lung that they're gonna need to live with for the rest of their lives.